Well, Daniel had mentioned he went out on a day away to visit his father, right? Uh huh. Welcome back. We now continue with our Torah service. We are empowered with these holy words that we will read shortly. Uvacharta Bachayim, choose life. There is so much that is beyond our control, but there is even more that is within our power. Let us hold this motto close as we hear these essential words of the Spirit. If you're comfortable, I invite you to rise. I will now take the Torah from the Ark. In Gemocha Elohim Adonai, Vein Gemasecha, Malchutecha, Malchut Kol Olamim, Umem Shautecha, Berchotor Vador, Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Loch Leolam Fahed, Adonai Oz Leambo Yitain, Adonai Yevarech et Amo Vashalom, Av Harachamim, Etim Vavertzon Echa Etzion, Tivne Chomot Yerushalayim, Tivne Chomot Yerushalayim, Ki Vecha Levad Batachnu, Melech El Rav Venisa Adon Olamim Adonai Adonai El Rachum Vechanun El Rachum Vechanun El Chapayim Verav Chesed Vemet Nozel Chesed Lalafim Nozel Chesed Lalafim Nozel Avon Vafesha Vechata Venake Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adoneinu Kadosh Venora Shemo Gadlu Adonai Iti Unerome Ma Shemo Yachdav Lecha 
Adonai Hagedula Vehagevura Vehati Ferret Vehanet Thach Vehahol Ki Koho Basamayim Uvaret Ki Koho Basamayim Vaharet Lecha Adonai Amam Lecha Amit nahase lecholeros. What a pleasure it is to welcome the Finkelstein Haynes family to do our festival Torah reading. As they do so, they are modeling the deep value in Torah, Lador Vador. We pass the Torah, we pass the teachings, we pass these stories from generation to generation. Such a pleasure to welcome two generations here today. Our festival Torah reading can be found on, uh, in the Machzor on page 266. It's Deuteronomy 29, chapter 9. Again, page 266, Deuteronomy 29, verse 9. Uh, Rachel will be reading from Torah, and her sister Elana will be blessing Torah. I'll now call them both up. Yitamod le'aliyah le'torah, Rachel bat Yaakov ve'mindel Rivka, Veta'amod le'aliyah le'torah, Ilana Israela bat Yaakov ve'mindel Rivka. I call Rachel and Alana for an aliyah to Torah. Baruch et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim Venatan Lanu Et Torah To. Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Atem nitzavim hayom kol hahem lifnei Adonai Elohechem roshechem shivtechem ziknechem veshohot rechem kol ish Yisrael tapchem neshechem beger chaha. Asher bekerev machanecha, mechotev etzecha, ad shoev memecha. Le'avracha bivrit, Adonai Elohecha uvalato. Asher Adonai Elohecha koret imcha hayom. Le'mahan. Hakim otcha hayom lo le'am vehu yelecha lelohim kasher diber lach vechasher nishba lavotecha leAvraham leYitzchak uleYakov velo itchem levadchem. Anochi koret et habrit hazot betalaha hazot ki et asher yesh naho po imanu omen hayom lifnei Adonai Eloheinu bet asher einenu. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah temet, bechaye olam nata betochenu, Baruch atah Adonai, noten haTorah. Amen. Second Aliyah, I'm going to invite proud parents Mindy and Roy to join their daughter Rachel. If you are following along in your mock floor, we're now on page 267. 
continuing on chapter 30, verse 11. Again, page 267, chapter 30, verse 11. Yatta amdu lealia le Torah, mindel rivka bat Yisrael velea. Baruch et Adonai hamivorach, Baruch Adonai hamivorach velam ba'et. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher bachar banu mikol ha'amim, v'natan lanu et Torato. Baruch ata Adonai, noten ha-Torah. Amen. Amen. Ki hi ha-mitzvah ha-tohot, asher anochi mitzavecha ha-hayom, lo niflet hi mimcha ha, velo rechokha ha hi Lo vasham ahayim hi hi, le mohor mi hi, ya le lahanu, hashamayma, vi kahe ha lanu, vi ashmi inu otaha, vena asena. Velo me ever la yaham hi hi, le mohor mi hi, ya var lahanu, el ever hayam. Vikahe ha lanu, Vyashmi enu otaha vena sena. Kika rohov elecha, Hada bahar me od, Bafiha uvil vavacha, La soto. Baruchata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher natan lanu Torah demet, Vechaye olam nata betochenu, Baruchata Adonai, Noten ha Torah. Amen. I want to wish each of you a uh, Yasher Koa. We spoke last week about the word Hineni saying, here I am. I'm so grateful that each of you said, here we are, ready to accept this call to read Torah on this truly peculiar year. You have inspired us in each of our homes. Again, as you've demonstrated the teachings of Torah from generation to generation. Again, to each of you, a Yasher Koach. Your job is not done yet. I'm going to invite Ben to come forward, perhaps the hardest job of the day. He gets to lift the Torah, and family gets to spot the Torah as we rise for Hagma and Galila. <laughs> Please be seated. I'm finding myself at these particular holiday seasons sharing things that I never thought I'd be saying out loud. And so with that in mind, I'm going to encourage you that if you would like to follow the Haftorah, which is a beautiful Haftorah, the eloquent words of Isaiah that are chanted by Hillel bilingually in Hebrew and English and blessed by Evan Wiener, I'm going to send you to Facebook. The posting is already waiting for you. You can go immediately following services. And please do witness these essential words that really speak to our call. And while you're there, I have another video for you to look at too. Isaiah the prophet asks us, is this a fast? He demands that we don't simply talk the talk, 
but we walk the walk too. And also on Facebook, there is a video put together by one of our members, Connor Roach, that articulates, that illustrates the beautiful story of how as a temple community, we help to bring a refugee family here from South Sudan. It is a beautiful recognition of the type of work that we can do to make the world a better place. Better to hear a reflection from Sarah herself. And so I encourage you to look at both of those videos on Facebook. Now, I'm gonna turn us back to our Maksor. We're on page 284 and I'm gonna invite Cherie to help us as we continue with the prayer for our congregation. Eternal presence who blessed our mothers and fathers, bless this holy congregation, a house of study, prayer, and righteous deeds. Together we give thanks for our leaders, those who learn teach and uphold the Torah, inspiring others to learn, teach and uphold the Torah, those who do the sacred work of building our community. May their service bring them joy, fulfillment, and purpose, and may they go from strength to strength. For our members, diverse in age, interest and background, Jews by birth, Jews by choice, and those of other faiths who join with us, all who offer their time and talent, their love and commitment, for all who come here on this holy day of Yom Kippur to share the search for meaning and renewal, your presence is a blessing, your friendship is a gift. May the spirit of peace, dignity, and respect live within these walls, inspiring us to care for one another with compassion, and may we be a source of goodness, light and healing for the world. May the one who blessed the generation before us bless us as we stand together this day. One congregation joined with all Jewish communities of the world through our prayers on this day of atonement. Let us renew ourselves for the year ahead. Let us honor the precious legacy that is ours. Prière pour le Canada. Prions pour ceux et celles qui, dans la vie du Canada, sont en position de leadership et de responsabilité. Puisse l'Éternel vouloir les bénir et les rendre ouverts et réceptifs à sa lumière, afin que notre pays, le Canada, devienne et reste une source d'inspiration pour la promotion de la justice et de la compassion en notre monde. Puisse l'Éternel vouloir approfondir notre amour pour le Canada et nourrir notre désir de le servir de notre mieux, vouloir renforcer notre capacité de dévouement pour notre pays et vouloir guider notre action pour protéger son environnement et sa réputation. Puisse l'Éternel vouloir nous aider à voir clairement que le bien-être de notre pays dépend d'abord de nous-mêmes et nous aider à mieux veiller sur lui. Puisse l'Éternel insuffler et ancrer en nous la quête et le souci constant du respect des droits fondamentaux de la personne au Canada comme partout ailleurs dans le monde. Puisse l'Éternel vouloir bénir l'amitié entre le Canada et Israël et permettre à celle-ci de surmonter tout obstacle à sa pérennité. Puisse l'Éternel enfin vouloir nous permettre d'abriter nos foyers de toute misère, de toute peine et de toute guerre. Merci beaucoup, Pierre. Thank you, Cherie. And I'm now going to invite Marion to join us virtually as she leads us in a prayer for a prayer Israel for in both Hebrew and in English. Avinu b'shamayim, tzor Yisrael b'goalo, barech et medinat Yisrael, rishit smichat yu olateinu. 
הגן עליה באברת חסדיה, ופלוס עליה סוכת שלומך. שלח אורך ועמיתך לרשיה, שריה ויוצאה. ותקנן בעצה טובה מלפניך. חזק את ידי מגיני ארץ קדשנו, והנחי לעם אלוהי, אלוהינו ישועה ועטרה ניצחון תעתרם. ונתת שלום בארץ, ושמחת, עולם, ושמחת עולם ליושביה, ונאמר אמן. אבינו, you are high above all nation states and people, rock of Israel, the one who has saved us and preserved us in life. Bless the state of Israel, first flowering of our redemption. Be her loving shield, a shelter of lasting peace. Guide her leaders and advisors by your light of truth. Instruct them with your good counsel. Strengthen the hands of those who build and protect our holy land. Deliver them from danger. Crown their efforts with success. Grant peace to the land, lasting joy to all of her people. And together we say, Amen. Continuing to hold the Torah close in our hearts, on our shoulders, let us now turn our words to words of prayer, words of refuah. I'm delighted to once again invite the choir to lead us and heal us now. In this difficult time, may we walk the path of healing. Every man. 
must admit, hearing the choir, even in un these unusual circumstances, makes my heart sing. And so I thank them and Carol and their new conductor for transforming these virtual moments into something that our memories uh, have strong and let us recall the times that we were all together. I also want to express my gratitude to Rabbi Daniel Michaelberg for inviting me to share these worship services with him and with you. It's an honor to be a partner with a rabbi who is so committed to a dynamic future for this sacred community to which I care so deeply. Kol ha'olam, kulo gesher tsar ma'od. The whole world is a narrow bridge, and the crux of the matter is to not be afraid. You may have heard these words as a song, sung in our sanctuary or in our religious school, or perhaps even at a Jewish camp. In reality, they are based on the teaching of Rav Nachman, one of the great Hasidic masters of the early 19th century. Rav Machman's world was indeed a narrow bridge. Europe was torn apart by wars, revolutions, and frequent Jewish pogroms. There was rampant disease and laws restricting economic activity. His two daughters died in infancy. His sons died within a year and a half of their birth. His house burnt to the ground in a fire. Rav Nachman's wife died of tuberculosis, the disease which would ultimately take his life as well. And as the famous Yiddish story ends, you think you've got Soros. Let me tell you about Soros. Looking at Rob Nachman's story, it's hard not to understand why he felt life was so precious. Like a narrow bridge from which the slightest misstep could lead to disastrous results. Yet in spite of his life experience, he taught, do not be afraid. The Rebbe's words ring true today, just as they did nearly 200 years ago. Our lives indeed feel like a narrow bridge. In the last seven months, we have been told that we are surrounded by an invisible enemy, which disrupts our lives as surely as war and famine and natural disaster. We have been told how to physically interact with our loved ones, our neighbors, our coworkers, and even those who we pray with. This morning, I stand with you through the medium of Zoom. Marshall McLuhan was correct. The medium is the message. We physically distance ourselves from each other because it's dangerous to be close. The bridge we walk is very narrow. But of course, if we were honest with ourselves, we would acknowledge that life has always been a narrow bridge. We have always dealt with illness, loss of a loved one and economic insecurity. 
We have always experienced anxiety or challenges to our families of origin or our nuclear families. And I am certainly aware as I enter these days of awe, the narrow bridge I walk, my sister's 10 year fight with cancer is no longer in remission. My brother, was gently forced to retire 18 months before he was eligible for Medicare in the United States. And I am in that age group, which is considered vulnerable. My grandchildren go to school and daycare. Do I interact with them as if I'm invincible? Or do I retrench from a summer of unlimited bubble life? Yes, life is a narrow bridge. In an instant, our lives could be turned upside down. Standing at the edge of a narrow bridge, fear draws our eyes downward to the chasm that lies below. What if we were to fall? We shudder and pull back. It would be so much safer to stay where we are. So much safer we imagine to turn back to the solid ground behind us. We stand on the narrow bridge and our gaze is often focused on what we might lose, not on what we might gain. We look at all the challenges that lie before us, all the risks and all are tempted to turn back. And yet Rav Nachman says to us, do not be afraid. Cross the bridge. Keep your eyes on the other side. Karen Thompson Walker tells the true story of an 1820 voyage of a whaling ship called the Essex. The Essex was rammed repeatedly by an 80-foot sperm whale far out at sea. The captain and the crew abandoned their sinking ship for tiny whale boats they could have safely landed at one of the nearby islands awash with fresh water and food, but they had heard rumors of cannibals living there. Fearing the cannibals, they avoided the island's safe haven, and as a result, most of them perished. There were no cannibals, but their fear blinded them to the one chance they had to be saved. Fear can immobilize us. It can inhibit us from reaching our fullness of life. Fear is what gets in the way of apologizing for repentance exposes our vulnerability. To change means to chance failure. It is easier to hold on to familiar ways of doing things, even when it is hurtful to ourselves and to others. Imagine this morning if the service was the same as it had been for a quarter of a century. The fear of change had inhibited what was offered this Yom Kippur morning. There is a great possibility that you will find this morning meaningful and ask for next year to be reflective of what we have learned about meaningful spiritual experiences. Will fear be the determining factor of going forth from this moment? Or will we go forward with hope and faith? These days of all are about taking risks. To admit I am wrong is to expose my vulnerability. To change means to chance failure. Teddy Kollek, the legendary mayor of Jerusalem, suggested an 11th commandment. He said, thou shalt not be patient. This advice seems to contradict all that we have been taught, that patience is a virtue, that haste makes waste, that easy does it, slow you go, don't move too fast. And of course, there is wisdom in caution and risk in speed, but there are times in life when the luxury of leisure is imprudent 
and irretrievable moments are lost forever. When patience is not a virtue, but a curse lost in the passage of time and in the sorrow of missed opportunity. If we compress our lives into days, not years, we might just get a better sense of how to live. We dawdle and then it's too light to retrieve what has been lost. We have been put here to live, to love, and then to leave. There is no do-over, no curtain call. Life is not a dress rehearsal, but a singular live performance. We get it right, or we don't get it. Of course, it's not just in our personal life that the bridge seems narrow. In our Jewish communal world, there is the tendency to let fear manifest itself as an overarching emotion. In 2008, Edgar Bronfman of Montreal wrote that too far too long our Jewish community was built on fear. We built our communities on the back of the experience of the Shoah, threat to Israel and local anti-Semitic actions. Our slogan was never again, he wrote. He reminded us that we Canadians love to quote Emil Fackenheim of the University of Toronto, who taught that the 614th commandment was never give Hitler a posthumous victory. Bromfen wrote that what we needed is a Judaism that was marked by more open, celebratory and hopeful communal life we needed a Judaism that is inclusive and speaks to the heart. It must be about values and justice and spirituality. It must give young Jews, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, meaningful reasons to be Jewish. And yet, unfortunately, the realities of growing anti-Semitism anti-Israel behaviors and examples of shootings in and at Jewish institutions seem to turn our focus from continuity and growth to security. The security is necessary, I agree, but when fears overshadow our dreams, our fears turn us back to a Judaism of survival, not a Judaism of joy and spiritual meaning then we have let fear seep into the, our lives. And at those times, Rav Nachman should speak loudly to us. We walk a narrow bridge, but we must not be afraid. The High Holy Day liturgy is haunting and magnificent, majestic and elegant. But one particular prayer touches me with its simple and powerful message. Later today, there will be a parting gift from the authors of our Moxor. The words, Hayom, Hayom, Hayom. Today is the essence of life. Don't wait, don't delay. Don't dwell in presumption, seize the moment and explore, the prayer says, before night closes in. The illusion of an endless life, the myth of eternal youth lulls us into a place of lazy days and chilly nights. We rely on tomorrow, but we often wait too long and life rudely barges into our routine and we discover that we are out of time. Hayom, Hayom, Hayom Timatsenu, today we are to find strength. Hayom Tivrachenu, today we are to find blessing. Hayom Tigadlenu, today we are to experience growth. Let us not be deceived by the mirage of life's permanence. We dare not be tricked by the chimera of endless days, beguiled by the belief that this place 
will be our residence forever. We have no time for fear. We must pursue our dreams. We have no time to waste in fear, but we have plenty of time for hope. So may it be. the prayers of supplication, the poems of pardon. Our pleas in the words of our ancestors, may the thoughts inside us match the words we speak aloud. We are judged every moment of our life by that we have done and what we have left undone. This is the judgment of truth from which we flee and we put in its place our own judgment, which is partial, or the judgment of the world, which is temporary. If we care for our souls and seek eternal times, now is the time for that judgment of truth we pushed aside. We turn to page 292 and we rise as we offer the confessionary v. Dewey. Conscious of our failings, Shema Koleno Adonai, hear our call. True sacrifice to God is a penitent spirit you treasure a crushed and repentant heart. For you are close to the brokenhearted and you give strength to a suffering soul. You are the healer of shattered hearts. You are the one who binds up their wounds. For thus says the high and exalted one who lives forever, whose name is holy. I dwell in high and holy place, but also with the downcast and lowly to bring new life to despondent souls, to restore and revive repentant hearts. Return. Return now, Israel, to Adonai, your God, for you have fallen because you of your sin. Take the words with you and return to God. Ask the eternal, forgive what is wrong and accept what is good. We now stand in humility Conscious of our failings, we set before you the wrongs we have done. We trust in your compassion, for you know who we are. Shema Kolenu, Adonai, hear our call. Shema Kolenu, Adonai.
ארצנו. אל שומע צפילות ותחנונים, עצה upon God to hear our prayer, Shema Koleinu. We now turn to 296 in your Moxor and offer Bidui Zuta, the short confession. Our God and God of all generations, may our prayers reach your presence. And when we turn to you, do not be indifferent. Adonai, we are arrogant and stubborn, claiming to be blameless and free of sin and truth. We have stumbled and strayed. We have done wrong. Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu v'imoteinu, Tavu lefanecha tefilatzeh. Evinu 
והרשנו, זענו, חמסנו, טפלנו שחר, איי איי די די די, איי די 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 די, איי די 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 די, יעצנו רע, גזבנו, לצנו, מרדנו, ניעצנו, צררנו, אבינו, פשענו, צררנו, השינו עורף, איי די 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 רשענו, שיחטנו, תיאבנו, טעינו, תיתנו, איי די 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 comfort of your home, join me in these words. Of these wrongs we are guilty. We betray, we steal, we scorn. We act perversely, we are cruel. We scheme, we are violent, we slander. We devise evil, we lie, we ridicule, we disobey. We abuse, we defy, we corrupt. We commit crimes, we are hostile, and we are stubborn. We are immoral, we kill, we spoil, we go astray. We lead others astray. The long vidui rabbah, the long confession is found on page 300. Al chet shechatanu lefanecha, ba'ones uveratzon. ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך ביודעים ובלא יודעים. The ways we have wronged you under duress and by choice and harm we have caused in your world consciously and unconsciously. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בבילי דעת. ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך בריצח רגליים להרע. The ways we have wronged you through our thoughtlessness. And harm we have caused in your world through impulsive acts and malice. Al chet shechatanu lefanecha bechozek yad. Ba'al chet shechatanu lefanecha bezizul hurim umroim. The ways we have wronged you by abusing our power and the harm we have caused in your world through disrespect to parents and teachers. Al chet shechatanu lefanecha beyetzer hara. The ways we have wronged you by giving in to our hostile impulses and the harm we have caused in your world through inflexibility and stubbornness. The ways we have wronged you through lies and deceit, the harm we have caused in your world by making light of serious matters. Al chet shechatanu lefanecha, besicha u besafchotenu, al chet shechatanu lefanecha, betzarut ayin. The ways we have wronged you in our routine conversations and harm we have caused in your world through envy. The al kulam. Elohai slichot, slach lanu, machal lanu, kaper lanu. For all these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, and lead us to atonement. Ve'olkulam <laughs> 
צלח לנו, מחלנו, כפלנו. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בגלוי ובסתר. Al Khait Shachatanu Lifanecha Bitsniyat Khinam, the ways we have wronged you openly and secretly, and harm we have caused in your world by hating without cause. Al Khait Shachatanu Lifanecha Bafi Rikat Ol the Al Khait Shachatanu Lifanecha Bama Achal Ubamaste, the ways we have wronged you by losing self-control and the harm we have caused in your world through consumption of food and drink. Al chet shachatanu lefanecha begilui arayot, ba'al chet shachatanu lefanecha be'imutz halev, the ways we have wronged you through sexual immorality and harm we have caused in your world by hardening our hearts. Al chet shachatanu lefanecha בנשך ובמרבית, על חטא שחטאנו לפניך במעשה ובמתן, the ways we have wronged you through greed and exploitation, and harm we have caused in your world through dishonesty and business. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בהיר הור הלב, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך ברכילות. The ways we have wronged you through our innermost thoughts and harms we have caused in your world through gossip and rumor. Al chet shachatanu lefanecha, the kapat shochad. Va al chet shachatanu lefanecha bechilul hashem. The ways we have wronged you by offering or accepting bribes, and harm we have caused in your world by profaning your name in public. ויעל כולם אלוהי סליחות, סלח לנו, מחל לנו, כפר לנו. For all these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, we beseech you forgive us, pardon us, and lead us to atonement. If you have been standing for the confessions, please be seated. It's my pleasure now to introduce our immediate past president, Stephen Asherman, who will offer some words of announcement. again. On behalf of the board, welcome. Our virtual Yom Kippur offerings are quite diverse and exciting. Make sure to review the schedule. Afternoon highlights include Mort Berkovich's reading of Jonah, Rabbi Garten's soulful healing service, and a Yisker reflecting on these difficult days. Immediately following Nila, we will break the fast with the communal motzi. We will post a separate Zoom link for breaking the fast so that we can all interact with one another once Nila is complete, approximately 6.15 p.m. Starting Friday evening, it's Sukkot, and we're hosting Sukkah Palooza. We're putting up a giant tent in the parking lot and hosting various small socially isolated gatherings. Focus groups will include our foundation generation, interfaith families, 
our youngest friends, and so much more. Choose the event that's best suited for you. Please, participants are asked to RSVP as space is limited. Speaking of our youngest friends, Rabbi Daniel has joined Kitty TV stars Judy and David Gershon for another fun-filled holiday episode. episode. Of course, we can count on Jonah and the whale to make an appearance too. Check out Facebook as a family to get your festival fix. Gemar Hatima Tova. As I promised in my remarks, we would hear the powerful words, Hayom Timatsenu, strengthen us this day. Please turn to page 318 and perhaps join with Cantor Geigerman as we end this service of our Yom Kippur observation. The infinite source of goodness, help us to see the good in ourselves, in others and in the world around us. Teach us to cultivate a discerning mind, to know right from wrong and a listening heart open to love and forgiveness guide us to walk in your way with integrity ever faithful to the promises our forebearers made and may your goodness inspire us to do what is just and what is right Amen 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 I am Tam say no Amen I Varchenu, Amen. Ayom te gadlenu, Amen. Ayom te reshenu letova, Amen. Ayom te chtevenu lechayim tovim. Steve Asherman have outlined for you the numerous and the myriad opportunities for you to deepen the meaning of this day. I hope you'll take advantage of them for those who are fasting some calm.